Hello people, Mubashir here from LMSCrafter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can actually reset your WordPress website. Alright, so we have here a complete website ready with a whole lot of the content. That's a home page and that's a courses page, the about page and the contact page. And we have installed a bunch of plugins at the back end of the website. You can see the nine plugins are actually installed and activated. Okay, so let's just begin the uh, WordPress reset process. So before we actually reset the WordPress website, we need to make the backup. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use the all-in-one WP migration. Here's the plugin. Just simply click on install and click on activate. All right, now we need to install the WP Reset plugin. Just simply come here and click, uh, type WP Reset. Okay, we need to choose this plugin from Web Factory LTD and simply click on install and activate this plugin. All right, so now we have both of our plugins uh, ready. First, we need to make, up the, make the backup of the website. Simply click on backup and click create a backup. Because I'm actually on a local host, so it's not going to take a lot of the time. As you can see, 67% is already completed. All right, so my backup is 227 megabytes. Okay, we need, we can actually download this backup on our local host. Okay. All right, so our backup is here. We have actually installed the reset plugin. Now, to go to the settings of the reset plugin, simply go to the tools and you can see the options of WP Reset. Simply click on here. All right, so before you actually reset the WordPress website, make sure you actually read these details before we proceed, but I'm going to really simplify that, okay? If you go with the pro options, you have an option to actually preserve the post, comments, media files, and in, in the most simplest way, the pro version actually allows you to preserve some of the database tables, some of the important data. But the free version is is going to completely reset your file, except your media files or few other things like the crunch user admin and, and the plugins file. It gives you the free version does give you a few options, but the pro version is going to give you complete whole lot of control on your website. Okay, and. It says, what happened when I run my reset tool? Remember, always make backup first. That's what we did. And the snapshot of your uh, database table. So this is really important. If you are dealing with any problem with the database, then go for the snapshot option. Um, uh, you will have to confirm the action one more time. See the table above and find exactly what reset and delete is. Site URL, site language and everything, blah, blah. There's so much of the th these things, but simply when you go to the pro options it gives you two options to actually reactive the theme or reactive 11 plugins but with the site reset it gives you the three options okay reactive my current theme okay or reactive my wp we want that wp reset plugin to be activated but it's, it's your priority but reactive all of my plugins we don't want that so just simply click on a reset type reset and reset the wordpress and uh, that's it our wordpress website is actually reset we have a fresh copy of the wordpress website like a brand new and all of the information is gone all of the database table but we have still our plugins active uh, act, uh, remain okay so what we need to do is that still i don't want any of these plugins i want to start the things from the fresh copy what I, i'm going to do is that just Keep this plugin and I will actually delete that. All right. So everything is gone. What we need to do is just simply click on new theme and we need to active our Astro theme. So we have our Astro theme activated. I will simply click on add new plugin we'll called uh, starter templates. Starter templates is actually by the Astra. And uh, with starter template, we can actually build the entire website in just a few seconds. All right, so starter template is installed. Just simply click on activate. With the starter template activated, simply go to the starter template. Choose with the template. I would say dismiss. 
all right we have a starter template this page but before you actually import a new website you can actually choose the block uh, editor either you can choose the block editor elementor beaver or the ai builder i'm going to just choose the block builder i love that builder uh, simply click on this one and continue i need to make video chat uh, video player for now sales phone automations name my personal email address and good to go that's it that's how you can actually install the uh, that's it that's how you can actually reset your wordpress website and start importing the brand new templates okay let's wait for the this uh, import to be complete i'm going to show you that how it's going to look like all right so our import is done so let's just see the website that how it's look like well we have amazing website ready that's how you can actually reset and import a fresh copy of your new website okay hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and like and share this video thank you so much